Today I'm going to show you how to make this spicy homemade chicken madras. Way better than ordering that takeaway. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. This chicken madras is actually a reader requested recipe so I've done some experimentation and come up with a rich, fragrant and spicy curry. It can all be made in one pan and it makes a great Friday night dinner. We start by adding a roughly chopped onion to a mini food processor. Next in goes two cloves of minced garlic and two teaspoons of minced ginger or you can leave these whole if you like. Add them into the food processor and blend to a paste with that onion. Heat three tablespoons of ghee, or vegetable oil if you don't have ghee, in a large frying pan over a high heat. Add in the onion paste and fry for three to four minutes, stirring occasionally until it's starting to brown at the edges. Add three chicken breasts that have been chopped into bite-sized chunks and cook for one to two minutes, stirring often until sealed. Turn the heat down to medium and now we're really going to start building the flavours in that curry. So I've got half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon here. I've also got three tablespoons of hot madras curry powder. If you can't find madras curry powder, you can just use regular curry powder, but add a teaspoon, or two if you like it hot, of cayenne pepper or hot chilli powder. We've also got one teaspoon of paprika, quarter of a teaspoon of ground fenugreek, half a teaspoon of tamarind paste, and half a teaspoon of salt. Add that all to the pan and cook for a minute, stirring constantly. Add in 400ml or 14 ounces of passata and 2 tablespoons of tomato puree or tomato paste. Give it a good stir and bring to the boil. Now add in 200 grams or 7 ounces of full fat coconut milk. Stir and bring to the boil, then simmer for 10 minutes. Once that's all cooked, turn off the heat and sprinkle on some chopped fresh coriander or cilantro. And there you go, that's my chicken madras. A rich, tasty and spicy curry. Serve it with rice and you're good to go. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new recipes every Monday and Thursday. See ya!